Welcome back to Norfolk Perspectives. Okay, talk about going from specta spectator to participant. We got two people who are active in participating. Gary Owens, coach for the Ocean View Little League uh, Challengers. Huh? How you doing, Gary? Fine, fine. And I'm then you're good. sitting here with a gal that's got uh, Nike and Tides written all over her. <laughs> so number one runner and number one fan, director of community, uh, community relations for the Norfolk Tides, Heather McKinney. How you yeah, doing? Good. How are you? Okay. Are they going to the? I got to ask her right away. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> season hadn't started. You going into postseason? I mean, I love it, but the Orioles did, so that's our job. So they made it postseason last year. So maybe they'll continue and it'll trickle down a little bit further. But so when's opening day? April 18th, Saturday night. We're ready. We had a couple of snows under our belt before that. Uh, no, I want spring <laughs> quickly. Yeah. It'll, it'll come. Very quickly. It'll come. Okay. <laughs> But you got a really special. I'm going to let you kind of talk about Gary first. I would be thrilled to yeah, talk about Yeah, tell this me about man. Gary. Um, you know, we met about 12 years ago in this fantastic program that he runs at Challenger Little League, and he really was just, it was by random that we met through the program um, of our Field of Dreams where the kids get to go out with the players to the national anthem. And we have actually built this great relationship over the last 12 years, and the things he does for these children are absolutely the most amazing thing they can do. It's my passion is baseball. And when you see kids that have disadvantages, like what he's working with, to play the game that we love so much, it just um, it touches me every year that I get to work with these kids. I get them twice a year, and I'm always blown away by the patience. I mean, it is patient. You you know, you have all all realms of children, and um, it's something that I respect him and his wife for doing. Kyle, I saw him at the ODU game last week, yeah. and he's waving and yelling at me. And um, you know, these kids come out in the ballpark other times during the year, and it's it's truly a a love thing for them to be doing. I mean, it's you don't continue doing it if you don't love it and you don't enjoy being with the kids. And um, I just feel a little bit touched that I get to work with them twice a year. And, I mean, the things they're doing are absolutely wonderful. And, you know, it's growing. He was just telling me about the senior program they're going to do, and I'm sure he'll share with that with you in a moment. But that's the thing you'd like to see is the program growing for more kids to have the advantage of playing baseball. So that's our job. Because, Gary, when I started, I talked about going from a spectator. Because, I mean, at some point in time, you're, you probably were told your son could be a spectator. True, true, of, yes. Of baseball. Yes. But what were the yeah. odds of participating? And yet, well, through the Challenger program. When he first w was old enough to play, uh, the least in our league at the time, we didn't have a Challenger team. Again, Challenger is the division of Little League Baseball for, for kids with disabilities. Uh, of course, the kids don't know they have the disabilities. <laughs> it's just right. the rest of us that think they do. Uh, but uh, we signed him up. Uh, he got to play on a team. Uh, for, for Challenger, uh, just enjoyed it a whole lot. Now I'm going to ask you the traditional parent question: What position did he play? Well, he plays all over. Okay. But uh, <laughs> his first year, he got he played mostly in the outfield. Uh, he does like to run around, so it's it's less or there's more space obviously out in the outfield for him to roll around and not run into other people. So now I've got you down here as coach rather than dad, so. Yeah. There's a fine line between dad and coach, isn't there? Yeah, well, I guess a good thing about Challenger is, is even though there's a rule book, who, pay, who pays attention to it? The only thing that we try to provide each kid is a, is a positive experience. Mm -hmm. uh, d during the game, no one is out. I mean, they, they hit the ball wherever they hit the ball. They run to first base, you go with it. I like just, and first base is to the right? It still is. <laughs> Jeff, yes, it still is uh, to the same spot. Uh, but my only goal is for each kid just to have them have a positive experience mm -hmm. during the game. That, that, that's all my goal is every time I go out there and do it. So there's no score sheet or? No score, no. Everybody bats, everybody plays defense. Now, how many uh, balls do you have going on at the same time? Well, obviously there's one that the batter hits, but I have a, uh, a, what I try to do to keep each player engaged is I have a bucket of balls out there with me uh, near the pitcher's mound, and once the batter hits the ball, I'll try to roll the ball to each player uh, in which I'll have them instead of throwing them back all at once. Good, I just, good plan. Yes. Uh, well, you learn from mistakes. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I just have them run back to the uh, bucket, just have them drop it in there. Cool. But it so keeps the, them all engaged so and doing something. exercise this. too. Yes, now, exactly. Now, what about kids that, are, um, that have a visual handicap? That well, can't see? They're, they're still able to play Challenger. We really? have Yes, uh -huh. we have uh, what we call here is the beat ball. Uh, the, we, we take, it's a bright yellow ball. That it is, yeah. yeah Why don't you but, hold it up? So but it also, uh, what we do, for those that are uh, visually impaired, we put this on the batting tee. We have this little pin here. We just take it out. It makes a beeping sound. It sure does. And they locate that with 
with their ears, obviously. They hit the ball, and off they go. Cool. They do have a buddy that will uh, run with them, obviously, guide them Send to them the, the correct right. base. Yeah. Now, uh, for anybody who's interested, they, are, uh, they can register. Certainly. Uh, so registrations are going on now. Yes. And I think we've been running that information, but just Again, in case, good. what... Uh, Ocean View Little League, uh, I think the website's uh, OceanViewLittleLeague.com, I'll spell it out. Uh, they can get information off my Facebook page, which is Norfolk OV Challenger as well. Okay. I want to say, uh, give, use this as an opportunity to say thank you for no, both no, of you. No, no, Making no, the connection, but also looking beyond somebody's, uh, what they think their abilities are yeah. and, and challenge, yeah. challenge them up. Yeah. Appreciate it. And they love the game. That's what's more important. Like, we're yeah. trying to always grow the game of baseball, and it doesn't stop between a healthy kid and, you know, a child with a disability. Like, it doesn't matter across the board. It's They get to play the game yeah. that both of us yeah. are very passionate yeah. about, yeah. and he's way more into it with working with them and doing all the things. And I'm just happy I get to, for 30 yeah. minutes, I get them on the field, and it's the same people for the last 10 years, and they hug me like we just saw each other yesterday. Uh. Yeah. I got to tell you, they, they exceed expectations on what they do out there with these children. and They know the game. They know where they're going. I don't have to tell them three times where their I position know. is. They know. Hey, you would me. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> so get connected. Get registered. Uh, look for it. When we come back, the symphony is ramping up. You're going to want to be part of it.